Okay, for part C, this time we have a fraction for our f of x, but again, the process is still the same. We're still gonna set up the first initial uh, inequality there. So we're gonna do the absolute value, f of x is one over x, and then minus L. Okay, we have a minus a negative one here, so that'll give us a plus one. That's gonna be less than our epsilon is gonna be uh, 0.1 on this one. So just 0.1, not 0.01. So be careful when you write that, you don't wanna accidentally put too many zeros in there, you're just gonna use 0.1. Okay, so now we're going to change this into inequality like we did before. So negative 0.1, less than one over x plus one, less than 0.1. And because we're dealing with fractions here, most likely the answer for this problem is gonna be a fraction. I'm gonna go ahead and change these uh, into fractions. So that's gonna be negative one-tenth, less than one over x, plus one less than positive one-tenth. So that way when I do the rest of the work here, all my answers will be in terms of fractions, which is usually what they want for this kind of problem. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract one from all the sides. So when you subtract one, it's really subtracting 10 over 10. So when you subtract that and get the common denominators, you're gonna get this, negative 11 tenths of one over x, and then this one, Track one from that, one tenth minus 10 tenths will give you a negative nine tenths. Okay, we need to solve this for x. So what it will do here is we're gonna take the reciprocals of, of all this. Now when you take a reciprocal of an inequality, you have to reverse the inequality symbols at the same time. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'll make that negative 10 elevenths. I'm gonna change the inequality sign to this. This is just gonna be x. This one switches also. Flip that one, negative 10 over nine. So now we have our open interval, negative 10 elevenths. Uh, actually, we have to make sure we write this correctly. If I wrote negative 10 elevenths, that would not be correct because since we reverse the order of our inequalities, this is the one that's actually smaller. So be careful when you rewrite that. You don't want to just simply write it in the same order like that. You want to actually use this one because that's the smaller one. Negative 10 ninths and negative 10 elevenths. That right there is gonna be the, our open interval. So again, be careful. We have to always put the smaller number has to come first. So if you're, uh, so in this case, uh, this number is gonna be the negative 10 ninths is actually the smaller number, negative 10 elevenths is the larger number. So now let's take a look at the delta. Okay, so now we're gonna find the delta. We first will set this inequality up without the zero. So we're gonna do x minus, so it's minus x of o, but again, the two negatives will give you a plus less than delta. We're gonna turn that into inequality like we did before. X plus one less than delta. You're gonna subtract one from all the sides. Delta minus one, delta minus one there. Here is our inequality, the uh, open interval that we had set up from, uh, that we did before. So each of these will set equal to each of these. So we're gonna do Negative delta minus one is gonna equal negative 10 ninths. Then you're gonna do delta minus one equals negative 10 elevenths, and we're gonna solve both of these individually. Okay, so if you solve the first one, you're gonna add one to both sides. You're gonna do, that's really nine over nine, you'll get there. And then when you apply the negative, you're gonna get one ninth uh, for your delta when you solve that equation. For this one, you're just gonna add 11 elevenths to both sides, and when you do, you're gonna get 1 eleventh. You want the one that's smaller. So this one is actually the one that's smaller because you're dividing by a larger number. The larger the denominator, the smaller the overall fraction is gonna be. So this is the one you wanna pick. Again, you always wanna pick the smaller one because you're trying to minimize the error that you have in the x direction, so that's why our answer's gotta be 1 over 11.